also had the creek cleanup we saw pictures of earlier, and this was part of where the interest came from. This was entirely student driven. Students together got together on a Saturday and spent their own time cleaning up our entire Sandy Creek Lacona area. And as you could see earlier, there was a lot of trash to be found. Thank you very much, Sandy Creek. <laughs> As you can see, there's many ways to tell the story. It's not just one way, and they, they came out in our community. and something to be very, very proud of as we, as we continue on. He said, this is just the beginning of wisdom thinkers in Oswego County. Many, many stories are being told and modified, and we're going to uh, make sure that we, we give thanks to everybody who's helped us tonight. But I'd like to share with you just a couple more things. And those things are in the PowerPoint. Are some of the questions we get asked regularly about wisdom thinkers. Because we provide all these stories with elementary school kids, middle school kids, high school kids. And the story is, what's next? So tonight we'd, we're going to introduce to you what's next. As soon as Ralph gets me in the right spot and talk about where do we do with kids? We, we, put, we provide this program for kids in Sandy Creek, it's K-12, and we give them lots of encouragement about what's going on in their community. And then we get to the end of high school and we say, what's next? This is where we'd like to introduce Community Strengths Institute. People say, what is that? It's what's next. Giving people voice again, because we know in our communities that we always get frustrated and depending on what's happening in the community, what's going on. And so we're introducing this as the adult version of Wisdom Thinkers, because we have to give kids a way to go on to what's next, as well as give adults in the community a voice of what's next. And so we're introducing this in the spring of 2016, or 2016, um, the purpose is to give voice on issues identified by the people in the community. And we're talking about PTAs, we're talking about Grange, we're talking about fire departments, we're talking about anybody that cares about their community. I know there's lots of people that do. And the group is community members, anybody who wants to be part of it, and looking at a problem they identify in their community, looking at an issue they identify in their community, and then through a facilitated discussion, as well as given some tools that Ralph has, has developed, as well as others, to 
come up with a solution, come up with an idea of how to address these issues in our community. Because we always see on the press every time, all the time about how there's just problems in our community and we just have to accept it sometime. The answer is no, we don't. The answer is give, taking your wisdom thinkers, integrating them in the community, and as adults, we help them along the way to continue to be leaders in our community through the things they learned in wisdom thinkers. So if you're interested, the survey is, has on the bottom of it, has some access to get a hold of us on that, on that point. We want, we're very excited about it because Community Strengths Indicators, our institute, um, also known as CSI on purpose, um, to solve problems and to investigate our communities, to give that voice back to our communities. So that's what's next coming up. But I also, uh, I have I got to ask, but in the last minute here, by legislator Roy Rehill, who's been a very good friend of Wisdom Thinkers, to say a few words about what is Wisdom Thinkers and as well as some of his work that meshes quite well with Wisdom Thinkers. Roy. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, like, like you said, I'm Roy Rehill, a county legislator from the town of Constantia, where the village of Cleveland is, uh, where I've lived for 30 years. And uh, I saw firsthand in Cleveland that the wisdom thinkers didn't just change the elementary school, it changed the community. And that's incredibly intangible. Can I you know, specify, make a list of the things that happened? I think it became, it was a, a cultural change that happened in the village. Uh, and I could probably go into that further with Ralph and try to document it, but I think this idea, the Community Strengths uh, Institute, is, is a fabulous idea. And the project that I've been working on uh, is a, a task force called the Community Health and Poverty Reduction Task Force. Our mission is to reduce poverty in Oswego County. I think the idea is to change the story in Oswego County, which meshes perfectly with the Community Strengths Institute. And what we've done uh, in uh, with help from the Shinneman Foundation and in partnership with all the school districts in the county, we've done uh, about an eight month study of things that we can do to improve things in the county and uh, reduce poverty. And we're going to be rolling out, uh, we, have, we worked with a consultant and we're uh, rolling out the plan here in this room on December 8th from the consultant with a, with a PowerPoint. And then after that we're going to, uh, we're moving from the research phase to an action phase. So hopefully um, some of the initiatives that we're going to put forward will mesh perfectly uh, with uh, Jeff's initiatives here and uh, like what Jeff's asking for people to uh, take your everyday hat off and think just as a resident of Oswego County and pick the thing that excites you most, the things where we can make the most change uh, and, uh, and join forces. So I hope uh, some of you will be interested enough to come out and uh, and have a look and see uh, what, what we've been up to and, and what our plans are going to be going forward for the uh, for Oswego County to change the story. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Roy. So before we finish up tonight, I just want to make sure we recognize those people that support us. Um, we have multiple students here from City that have done an outstanding job behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, around the scenes, in the scenes, from our culinary arts students, as well as our public safety students, as well as our audiovisual students. When they say things just happen, they don't, they don't just happen. There's lots of people behind the scenes, as, you, as evidenced here, about what changes our community. And that's what this is about. When we talk about wisdom thinkers, we talk about leaders in our community, and we talk about being very proud of our students, as well as our schools, 
that make changes in our community. So one more big round of applause for every student that is there. Oh, so there's going to be food still here, I was told, until five after eight, so eat up. And so, Ralph, do you have anything more you'd like to add to this? Now, uh, about as soon as you kids started getting up here, I mean, it's one thing when all my colleagues, adult colleagues come up, but when I start seeing pictures of kids, I, I can't control my emotions. And Garrett came over and was kind enough to give me a few, and I said, that, that'll never work. What you have done tonight is just remarkable. Think of what you all have accomplished in one year. Not really having known each other, not really knowing where each district, Stu would come in and all excited and say, look, my kids have done a cartoon, or Jody would come in with a story, or Danielle and Fulton and certainly Central Square. But to see it together, you've never, we've never seen you all together. And for me, it's just, can you imagine people talk about, and I, I, you see the world, and you see the, the killing, and you see the harm that goes on. Look at the light that you have brought, not just together in this room, but this light will spread. It will spread forever throughout the world with everybody you touch in everything that you cook forever. Your service, your kindness, you in public safety bring a joy and a spirit to helping people. Everything that you're doing is going to touch and change the world. I guarantee you that. That is a promise from above. And we, as adults, have to, have to see you through this. I can't thank you enough, all of you, everyone who's taken the time to come. But this is, as many of you have said, wait till you see what comes out of here. And I can't wait. I can't thank you all enough. Thank you. And behind the scenes. And behind the scenes, making sure I'm properly fed, which shouldn't be a question, is my dear wife, Jaginder, and I don't just mean feeding me, but spiritually feeding me and holding me up through everything that is going on here. And I can't thank, and I'll just, I really have to do this. This committee that is coalesced that Betsy spoke of, Stu Amell, Roseanne Bain, Donna Blake, where's Donna? Donna Blake, who really behind the scenes has pulled together board members and community members. Bill Byrne, my dear friend. Betsy, I mentioned Danielle, Tammy Farrell, Janie Garlow, where's Janie? In terms of drumming up support in Central Square. Jeff, of course, I can't thank you enough, Jeff. For those of you who don't know the story, Jeff came on early in terms of our steering committee last year, and now he's really picked up and helped formalize a lot of the pieces which were sort of floating around. And I can't wait to see what, what grows out of that focus. Margaret Kastler. Margaret is, Margaret's just been a stalwart, even though she, she's not. Yeah. My old friend Al Mosier couldn't make it. Joe, again, can't thank you enough, Joe Menard. And Tom Schneider, unfortunately, as I said, was not able to be here. Mike Schroeder couldn't come. My dear friend Bob Serafini. Smolnik, can you believe a principal who starts this thing having an excuse that tonight's parents' teachers' conference and thought that he couldn't, you know, should we let him off the hook? But, you know, he was, and Garrett, where are you? 
Garrett doesn't want to say anything, but I can tell you from day one, when Garrett came on board, he has seen to facilitate in every possible way the progress of this program. We don't even call it a program, this movement. And so as uh, Jeff had invited you on the table, please, there's a comment sheet. Please fill out the comment sheet. And on the bottom is the ability, whether you're students, whatever, just fill out your comments. And at the bottom is a place to sort of sign up to say, gee, I'd like to participate in these community strengths institutes and help, help organize it. And past that, I just, I'm speechless. I, I just can't tell you what a wonderful evening this has been. And I can't wait to see the next chapter. And I thank you all very much. God bless. Thank you, everybody. Good night.